They're hopping, skipping and jumping, but around 9,000 Victorians are missing out on the opportunity to participate in gymnastics due to long wait lists statewide. It definitely seems very popular to me. Ingrid Johnston is one of many parents who had to be put on the gymnastics waiting lists, and while her daughter got into a class within a few weeks, there are some Victorians who have to be put on waiting lists for up to 12 months before getting a taste of what gymnastics has to offer. We have 130 clubs throughout Victoria and 70% have waiting lists. Classes for girls between the ages of 5 and 12 see the biggest wait lists, while Knox Gymnastics Club and Waverley Gymnastics Centre hold some of the biggest wait lists at around 500 people. Gymnastics has seen a sudden increase in growth within the last five years. The year 2013 saw a jump from a consistent 7% increase to 12% per annum, and the numbers are predicted to grow annually at this rate. The CEO of Gymnastics Victoria, Jamie Parsons, believes that by the year 2024, gymnastics will be the highest ranking sport in Victoria for participation. The reason we have wait lists are because we don't have enough facilities, so we really need to have um, to build more facilities, have more facilities suitable for gymnastics so people can run gymnastics clubs in them, uh, and also uh, be, uh, the number of coaches we have as well. We've got um, two limiting factors um, with regard to being able to accept new students into our gym. One is the physical space that we have. Even though we're in a large gym, there are limitations to what we can provide um, safely and, um, and, and keep everyone happy. We also have a uh, staffing limitation. Melanie Philp is the owner of Aerodynamics Gymnastics in Wonturna South and currently has a small wait list of 20 people wanting to join her club. She too believes that more facilities are needed to resolve the wait list issue. I think it's having more facilities available. Lena Zuccarelli, Mojo News.